The Brexit rules for the former troubled province of Northern Ireland are proving difficult. Then the EU also added fuel to the fire. London is now pushing for renegotiations and Brussels holds against it. After days of dispute between London and Brussels over the Brexit difficulties in Northern Ireland, the responsible EU Commissioner Marosevkovic wants to travel to the British capital for talks in the coming weeks. This emerges from a joint communication after an online crisis meeting. In it, both sides committed themselves to the peace process in the former civil war region and to the correct implementation of the Northern Ireland Protocol agreed in the Brexit Agreement, the Withdrawal Agreement. After a constructive discussion between all parties, work will be carried out immediately to find solutions to all outstanding questions, the statement said. At the video conference on Wednesday, Sefcovic had exchanged views with his British counterpart, the Minister of State Michael Gove, as well as the heads of the two governing parties in Northern Ireland, Aline Foster from the DUP and Michelle O'Neill from Sinn Féin. The current background includes the conflict over corona vaccines. The EU Commission got into a lot of trouble last week when it invoked an emergency clause in the Brexit Agreement in a document on the monitoring of vaccine exports. Article 16 of the so-called Northern Ireland Protocol allows the rules to avoid an open border between EU member Ireland and the British Northern Ireland to be temporarily suspended. Although this step was never implemented and immediately reversed, the outrage in Great Britain was enormous. Even Dublin was not inaugurated and was accordingly irritated. The Northern Ireland Protocol in the British EU Withdrawal Treaty provides that the British province will in fact continue to be a part of the EU internal market. This is to prevent controls on the border between Northern Ireland and the EU member Ireland. In order to do this, the transport of goods from the rest of the UK to Northern Ireland must be partially controlled and in order to avoid problems with the food supply, for example, there is currently a transition phase of several months with less comprehensive controls. Even so, many companies complain of difficulties in trading between the UK and Northern Ireland. Sometimes supermarket shelves remained empty. Against the background of the vaccine dispute, the British government is now calling for the agreements to be comprehensively revised. In a letter to Sefcovic, published on Wednesday, Minister of State Gove called, among other things, to extend transitional clauses by at least two years. British Prime Minister Boris Johnson announced in Parliament that he would do whatever it takes to prevent obstacles to trade between Great Britain and Northern Ireland. The rules that currently apply to supermarkets and their suppliers must be extended until at least January 1st, 2023, wrote Gove. For other goods that are subject to special regulations, such as chilled meat products, pharmaceuticals and parcels, the transition phase would have to be extended or permanent regulations found. Northern Irish supporters of the union with Great Britain had criticized the hurdles and protested against it. Due to threats of violence, controls have been suspended in the past few days, as I reported on in my last video. What is needed now are political, not technical solutions, wrote Gove. The stability of the peace in Northern Ireland and the people there must be protected in any case. And if the EU does not bow to the demands, the use of all available means will be considered, Gov said. Yeah, try to blackmail the EU. After the conversation, Sefcovic told the Irish broadcaster RTE that there should now be no renegotiation of the agreement that was decided only six weeks ago. If London implemented the measures envisaged to the maximum, all the problems we are talking about today would really be solved, 
said the European Commissioner. And he is right there. The whole thing and the whole trouble we're dealing with at the moment, who caused it? First of all, Britain unilaterally decided to leave the European Union and with that the European Single Market and the Customs Union. It's not the fault of the EU that they have to take third country rules now. They decided themselves to be a third country. Second, that happened almost five years ago. That means the government of the United Kingdom or the different governments we had during that time had almost five years to prepare for that. And what did they do? Not very much. And because you don't do your job blackmailing the EU that are just <laughs> going on a WTO light, which is even less stricter than it would have been under leaving just under WTO, <laughs> absolutely unbelievable. But we will see how that turns out. We will hear about this next week when Sefcovic was in London. And if you have questions to this topic or to others, you can already ask questions for my next live stream. There will always be a post, by the way, on my community tab where you can ask questions for my live streams. I really liked that in my first one. And so if you have questions, I will continue to answer those questions on my live streams in the future. So just have a look on my community tab. I'm looking forward to your questions. And if you want to stay informed, please subscribe to my channel and to my other channels. I'll see you in my next video. Auf Wiedersehen.